tonight on News 12, playing with fire. It's inexcusable, it's irresponsible. News 12 uncovers a dangerous breakdown of public safety in Rockland's non-public schools. Look, this one expired in 2008. A breakdown many school leaders don't want to admit even exists. Why are you covering the record? You're watching News 12, I'm Scott McGee. Every school in New York, public or private, is required to get annual safety inspections and post their compliance record to prove the school is safe. But we were shocked to find out just how often that law is being ignored by private religious schools. News 12's Tara Rosenblum joins us now with the findings of her five month long investigation, Playing with Fire. Tara. Well, Scott, our investigation revealed far too many schools are flunking their most important exam, protecting students from danger. And what's most disturbing, it appears very little is being done to fix the problem. For ultra-religious Jewish families across Rockland, going to private schools is more than a mandate. It's a matter of faith, a matter of family. We love each other. Everybody cares for each other. It's our children, and the children have to be safe. And so tens of thousands of families send their children off each day, confident they will make it back home. But that confidence is misplaced, according to one of New York's top fire safety experts. Are these children safe in these schools? Absolutely not. It's inexcusable. It's a, it's a town-wide disgrace. Rockland County's fire coordinator Gordon Wren says there's a systemic failure of code enforcement among local religious schools. Most of these codes have dead bodies behind them. Codes, he says, being routinely ignored by dozens of private schools, some he calls ticking time bombs. Should we wait for a big tragedy and then there'll be an uproar? You want to wait for that and have poor innocent children pay with their, their lives? It almost happened a few years ago. Fire breaks out there and students become trapped inside. Back in 2010, Yeshiva Viryakov in New Square caught fire where firefighters say they found 20 teens trapped behind illegally padlocked exits. Documents show the school flunked their fire safety inspection then and five years later, the school is still not making the grade. According to the State Department of Education, their fire safety record is missing. A legally required document that shows whether a school is safe or not. Is this learning institution compliant with the fire safety laws of New York. That's all we want to know. Yes. But they are shockingly not alone. So you don't know if you're up to date or not? Not even close. I don't see your fire safety report. I'm wondering if you have it somewhere in the building. Over the past five months, we made surprise visits. Is it your fire safety record available? We're not available now. To 55 private schools Please leave the premises. across Rockland County and found this. You could see here it expired. December 1st, 2014. And this. Out of the building. Okay. Like some schools, like the Ateris Bias Yakov Academy of Rockland, passed with flying colors. Green, ready to go. Roughly 75%, yes, you heard right, 75% of the other schools we went to had fire safety reports and or compliance records that were outdated. Look, this one expired in 2008. Incomplete, missing. We didn't see it on any of the walls. Or school officials. Please leave the building. Simply refused to show them to us. Get out of here. You're not welcome here. Can't do that here. However, it was easier to spot the violations at the Bias Yehuda School in Muncie. We noticed on the wall that the fire safety certificate of compliance expired more than a year ago. Give me a second. Did you know that it was expired? It doesn't make a difference. Why not, sir? You're from the fire department? I'm not. No. You, you don't have what to do with your time today? Are the children safe in your school, do you think? Yes, yes, don't worry. Everything is safe. We'll talk to the fire department and they'll come down and we'll see everything. Don't worry. So we came back two months later to see if they kept to their word and updated their record. And lo and behold, there it is, expires 2014. Why are you covering the record? But if one year without an inspection is troubling, how about seven? Your fire safety compliance record expired in 2008. Do you have any comments on that? And explanations at the Yeshiva Bias Hakanok in Spring Valley were hard to come by. What? Are the children safe at your school? I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. Who's to blame that a local school is operating with a fire safety record that expired in 2008? Good question. Ray Guarnaccio is the fire inspector for Spring Valley. Along with the help of one part-time worker, he says it's nearly impossible for the two of them to oversee the safety of roughly 1,400 properties. We're overwhelmed with all that we have to do. As a result, it sounds like 
kids are being allowed year after year to still study in schools that are not safe for them to be in. Is that accurate? That's accurate. Do you worry for these children? Every day. Their safety is um, obviously the most important aspect for schools. Rabbi Noah Coulter runs the Rockland Jewish Academy of West Nyack and says it's very easy to miss the mark when it comes to compliance laws for the state of New York. We were unaware that every year we needed to resubmit our paperwork. Once they found out a few months ago, Rabbi Coulter says they submitted their paperwork right away, but he thinks the state should do more to help private schools like theirs make the grade. I think a lot of these schools, you know, may just not be aware of the things that need to be done in order to be considered in compliance. Um, there doesn't seem to be any kind of document available where schools can access it off a website to kind of almost as a checklist. But for many schools. Here's a fire extinguisher that looks like it's expired uh, quite some time ago. Gordon Wren says missing paperwork is the least of their infractions. If a fire starts, a she rock is not going to hold. Do you think a lot of these schools should be shut down? Absolutely. Without a doubt, it's indisputable. But continue they do within a system stretched to its limit that appears to be existing on a hope and a prayer. Now, as a woman of Jewish faith myself, I was asked repeatedly why I covered this story, which obviously brings some negative attention to the community. My answer, simple. This is about children's safety, nothing more. And yes, we did visit several Catholic schools in Rockland. All were compliant. Tomorrow night, we look at what lawmakers are doing to fix the problem, and the answer is not enough.